So today we're going to start off with a movement activity. What I need you to do first is find a free spot. Remember, a free spot is anywhere in the room where you are not in anyone else's personal space and where you are not in the way of any of Ms. Babbage's instruments around the room. Now, what I want us to do is I'm going to play a walking sound on my tempo box. What I need you to do is make your feet match the sound. Ready? that go? Okay, let's try it again. This time, try walking in a different direction. Ready, and uh, here we go. How'd it go that time? Pretty good. Excellent. Now, this is what I want you to do this time. I'm still going to play my same walking sound, but instead of this being your ending cue, the chimes will now be your ending cue. Listen for those chimes to freeze in your spot. Ready, walking feet, here we go. Don't get tired. Change directions. How'd that go? Good, I hope. This time, what I want you to do, when you hear the chime, I want you to find a close friend, shake their hand, and make eye contact with them. And that's going to be your partner to stand with until the chimes finish their sound. When you hear the walking feet, Wave goodbye to your friend, thank them for being your partner for the time being, and continue to walk around the room. Ready? Here we go. Oh, find a partner quickly, quietly, and safely. Shake their hand, make eye contact, and stand with them until the chimes finish. Get ready to thank them. We're moving around. Did you find a partner? If you don't have a partner, raise your hand and we're going to make sure that you join a group of three. When you hear your tempo blocks, count how many walking steps you hear before you hear the chimes. Use your finger talk to give your answer at the end of the listening. Ready? Show your finger talk. Hmm. If you're unsure, let's try it again. Catch it this time. If you had a number that time, double check it. See if you're right. Ready? And uh, count your steps. Check your finger talk with your matching partner's finger talk. Is it the same? Is it different? Was it eight? If so, you're correct. What I'd like for you to do now is find a quiet square spot so we can listen to our first reading of Barnyard Dance.
Barnyard Dance by Sandra Boyton. Stomp your feet, clap your hands, everybody ready for a barnyard dance. Bow to the horse. Bow to the cow. Twirl with a pig if you know how. Bounce with the bunny. Strut with the duck. Spins with the chicken now. Cluck, cluck, cluck. With a bath and a moo and a cock-a-doodle-doo. Everybody promenade two by two. Prance with the horses. Skitter with the mice. Swing with your partner once or twice. Stand with the donkey. Slide with the sheep. Scramble with the little chicks. Cheep, cheep, cheep. With a neigh and a moo and a cock a doodle do. Another little promenade two by two. Trot with the turkey. Leap with the frog. Take another spin with the barnyard dog. Turn with the cow in a patch of clover. All take a bow and the dance is over. With an oink and a moo and a quack quack quack, the dance is done but we'll be back.